The nomadic pastoralists community locally known as Balalo began migrating to Acholi subregion in 2017 and the influx in numbers increased in 2021 during the COVID-19 period. This hail from Rwanda, Tanzania and Ankole. They allegedly acquire customary land through conniving with few individuals in Acholi subregion and security personnel. The animals of the Balalo loiter Acholi land escorted by security personnel. The former member of parliament Agago North, Professor Ogenga Latigo, wonders why the Balalo seem to act with impunity. Ask why the Acholis are reacting. Because it is their land. That is their God-given land. So you think about the link between the Balalo and the Acholis. Where is the commonality? So all these things must be about life. It must be about human relations. It's not about, I have the money to buy, I have the... No! Professor Ogengalatigo says, on this issue of Balalo, authorities are not talking honestly. The voices coming out are for people from Acholi and government, emphasizing that people need to do things correctly in this country if peace is to prevail. It's not about protecting the community. Let us, let us do things correctly in this country if we want peace. Because whether Latigo says it or not, something that brings sentiments in people can never be resolved by quoting laws or trying to rationalize in terms of purchase. No! Naturally, land is not free. Professor Ogengalatigo urges government to put a clear legislation on the land use law because the provisions only focus on ownership. I have written, let the government put a very clear legislation on land use laws. And said you can own 100,000 hectares, but if you don't use it the way government has prescribed, you pay a penalty. In another development, a deputy police spokesperson, Claire Nabaka, says police has instituted a task force to handle the conflict of Balalo. After all uh, these uh, teams have embraced it, okay? But a task force has been put in place in all the areas from north and northeastern Uganda. President Museveni, at the beginning of this month, gave a three-week ultimatum and directed the UPDF division commander, RPC, and minister for northern Uganda to ensure that anybody with cows in unfenced area in the Acholi, Lango, and West Nile subregions live. I'm Navka Farida in Kampala.